Gallery Night in Providence, and I'm also the gallery manager here at Sprout Coworking. This evening, I'm going to introduce you to Giovanni Delgado, who is a 13-year-old art student, and I am so excited to show off his work. I hope that you are as impressed as I am. Come on in. Hi, Giovanni. Uh, here we are with gallery night. Uh, all the people in Providence and around the country and around the world. This is Giovanni. He's 13 years old, and these are his parents. And they're all here in the gallery tonight so that we can bring to you his artwork. And so, Giovanni, we're going to start by... Um, just asking you to tell the people where you go to school, how old you are, about, a little bit about your family and your background, and then we'll look at your artwork. Okay. Uh, my name is Giovanni Delgado. Uh, I'm 13 years old, and I go to school at Gough. Uh, I recently started painting after I've been drawing for since I was little. And I just started painting recently. Recently, like months ago. Wow, amazing. All right, so why don't we walk this way and start off with your self-portrait. Um, this is my first self-portrait uh, I did with painting. Um, I, I wanted to put the COVID mask because of everything that's going on right now. When did you realize that you wanted to be an artist? I d um, I always wanted to draw because my dad drew a lot, so I always wanted to draw as good as him. And then I, when I started painting, I really liked how, how the paints were and the colors, so I wanted to continue painting. And, and I ended up liking it more than drawing. And what, what gave you the inclination to even try the painting? I don't know. I always seen painting, and I always wanted to try it. So one day I went to grab some paints, and then I ended up really liking it. So why don't you tell us about this one over here? Um, all three of these are all tributes to uh, people who have died. Um, this is a tribute to Kobe Bryant, um, Kobe and Gigi Bryant. Kobe Bryant's a uh, basketball legend, and he inspired so many people. And his daughter tried to f uh, was gonna follow in his footsteps, so I wanted to honor their uh, legacy. Beautiful. Uh, same thing with um, the George Floyd campaign. I wanted to uh, honor the movement he, had, he made by um, uh, making everyone want to protest against racial uh, injustice. And then the Chadwick Boseman character, he died recently. I always was a big fan of him, especially since the Black Panther, uh, Black, Black Panther film, and I always wanted I was inspired. I always wanted to um, see the next one, but he ended up dying before that happened. Yeah, very sad. How about this one? Nice and colorful. Um, Flowers coming out of the head. <laughs> this uh, painting represents uh, a woman who who's been uh, broken many times, but although she's been broken, um, she still has beauty within her. Have you taken art classes? I went to. I don't, our school doesn't really do much with painting and stuff. We were not, we don't do free drawing like that. She usually gives us sketches to do and then we uh, copy them and do it the way we want to do it. And we do arts and crafts. So the, how did you get the idea to paint a picture like this of a woman who is so resilient? I saw a painting before. Uh, before it was like almost a man with half a head and he had like a flower out of it then I took that I wanted to make something of my own and then I came up with the design of a woman who, who's been who's been broken and with the flowers coming out of her and um, the butterfly the purple butterfly shows a domestic violence a survivor wall here. You can see that these also are very timely paintings. 
So why don't you walk us through these? Uh, this painting is a representation of what's going on right now, of uh, all the racial um, injustices. This uh, painting shows that how people are treated, even in the same situations, that people can be treated differently. This flower painting sh shows that even in the, even when, um, even though everything is destroyed, so, so um, there's still the flower is still able to bloom. So even with all the fires all over the country, mm -hmm. the, the flower is still able to bloom. Mm -hmm. This painting is also something about what's going on right now. It shows. Um, Atlas, who holds the world on his shoulders, out because of everything that's going on, the world's starting to crack under the pressure. Yeah. And this was uh, more of a free painting that I did. I just wanted to make something abstract, and then I came up with this. And black and white, not as colorful as well. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. I wanted. To, I didn't want to make it too colorful. I just wanted to make a black and white one. Right. And all the shades of gray in between, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, let's come to this wall here. And then with the Buddha one, um, why don't you stand a little closer to it? I always like the theology of uh, Buddha and what he stands for. So I wanted to, what he stands for, and I wanted to make the uh, painting of it. And tell me about the colors in that. How did you? Um, How'd you, how'd you think to put the Buddha space so full of color in that technique of the large brush strokes? So what I did was, um, in the beginning, I used a bunch of colors and uh, I made a bunch of uh, uh, things of paint. And then when it dried, I put black over it and made an outline of, of Buddha and then I added some shading to it. So I how much it. did you know what you were going to do ahead of time, and how much of it just developed as you were painting? It mo mostly developed as I was painting. I did the background. Um, I always wanted to, I was going to add something to it, but I didn't know what it was yet. And then after I, I, wanted, I came up with the idea to do this. Mm -hmm. So the paint kind of talked you through it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And then the next one looks much more deliberate. Like you knew what you wanted that one to be, right? This one I did for, uh, um, this is the second time I made this, this is a remake. Uh, the <laughs> first time I made it was um, seventh, seventh grade because, uh, for a peaceful state contest. I won for the state and then... You won for the state? Yeah, oh. I don't know if it's still going on, but yeah, I did. I won for the first place for the state and then um, I wanted to redo it because I got better at painting. The first time I used a bunch of different tools, but then I, I wanted to just stick with painting throughout so it can have much brighter colors. And then I ended up um, remaking it. It shows a person during war dreaming of peace. Did you know the countries of all those flags? Yeah. You do? Yeah. You could tell me every country on this one? I want to say everyone. <laughs> I can, I can, uh, I can uh, name all, most of them. Wow, that's great. Okay, and the next one? This is, I showed almost as a person, not everybody's perfect, and that is um, almost, it's like a person mixed with the, uh, like inside of them, it's a robot. Oh, futuristic, huh? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> All right, and you can walk behind the desk if you want to talk about the two there. This one, this painting represents, it shows uh, a person hiding in a mask hiding behind the mask of another person and, not, and him not being able to show his true personality because he's hiding behind the personality of another person. And it's holding him back. Mm -hmm. And Africa? Mm -hmm. This one is, uh, it shows Mother Africa and it shows how the roots connect everything together. Are your roots in Africa? Hmm? Are your roots in Africa? Yeah. Yeah. Where are you from? I'm from I'm from here. Yeah. Is uh, my parents? They're both born in uh, Cape Verde, which is in Africa. All right, and we have two more over here.
this painting, uh, this painting it shows it's a black and white painting and I wanted to make it almost as, it's a landscape and I wanted to try almost a different style with the trees and stuff. And then with the lights, I only had color on those because I wanted to show that even in darkness, um, there, you'll, find, you'll always find light and a new path to um, appear. And the last one, you might have and to zoom elephant. in on that to see what it is. And then with the elephant one, I, I was inspired by another a photographer who took a picture of that. I liked this, so I wanted to make the elephants like that, and then I wanted to make almost like an abstract, abstract painting with it. So it shows the love between the mother and the and his child, and it and that's it could represent anything you want with the splatters of pink. It could be snow. It could be ashes. Yeah, it could be raindrops. Mm -hmm. So I think there are 16 paintings here. Which one is your favorite? Which one are you most proud of? It would probably be that one. The one with the woman and the flowers? The resilient woman? woman? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Why? Because it could really mean anything, and I feel like that painting has the most meaning into it. So um, are you working on anything at home right now? Um, yeah, I'm doing my painting. And what, what's the new one? It's a, it's a state, it's like an astronaut in space. So it also represents what's going on right now. It's like everybody um, is stuck, but time is still going on. Oh, we can't wait to see it. Will you share it with us when it's ready? Yeah. Oh, we'd love to see it. So um, you can see why we are so impressed with Giovanni, uh, as his parents must be so proud of him. Thank you for joining us at Sprout this evening. You can stop by and see this show. Sprout is open to the public these days, Monday to Friday from nine to noon or any other time of the day or day by appointment.